This video will show you the load on load off feature. This tool is very useful if you want to see the effect of the load moving along the entire conveyor one step at a time. To run the load on load off case, click on edit, loading, carry, and load on and off. You will notice that each flight is divided into smaller segments. The program will divide the flights up automatically so that each step is as close to equal as possible. Each of these parts will be a step in the load on load off process. A new window will appear for the load on load off control. There is a stop button which will abort the loading process and close the window, a pause button, and a play button. The first small box has a zero in it. This is the time delay between steps. It is recommended that this is left at zero. The second box has a zero plus. This shows what step the program is currently running. There are two arrows so the user can manually step through each section being loaded. There is also a record button, which the user can press if they want an Excel document with all the load on load off information saved in their project file. There is also an expansion button at the bottom of the window. If you click this, the window will reveal more settings that you can adjust to better fit your requirements. To start the load on load off analysis, click the play button. You can see that the conveyor profile graphic shows the load progressing over the conveyor. You can also see the tension graph changing as more material is added or taken away. As the control steps through each segment, tabs may turn red, indicating that a certain loading situation has caused an issue. You can click on the red tab as the load on load off case runs and watch what values turn red during the process. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or concerns about the load on load off feature, please contact Overland Conveyor.